Let's master the needle threader that is on the Singer Heavy Duty 4423 soy machine. Now, once you have figured this out, boy, threading the needles are such a breeze. Now, here's a little trick. Right now, the presser foot is up, but if I go ahead and lower it, the thread is gonna be tighter. If I leave it up, the thread can sometimes just continue to pull through as I kinda tug on it. So, make it a little re resistance on it. Plus, you get a little bit more space down below here. Now, one thing you wanna do is just kinda make sure the needle is at the highest position. And the needle threader works by pulling it down and then rotating the needle threader head to the back of the needle. Now, if you look, you can see a little tiny hook uh, coming towards the needle eye. Now, if I had to be small enough to fit through an eye of the needle, I have to be pretty small. And that also means that it's very fragile. So if you, for any reason, don't have your needle up high enough and the eye and the needle threader is not lined up, things are gonna get bent. Once the, that little guy gets bent, well, he's not gonna work. He, there's no, you can bend it back, but just by repeatedly trying to use it, it might not work. So check your needle threader. If it looks like it's leaning a little off to the side and definitely not coming through the eye of the needle, you're gonna need to adjust it or have one of your local sewing machine stores adjust it for you so it actually lines up with the needle. All right, so here's how I do it. First off, I don't pull it down all the way. Pull it down partially and then take your right hand, bring the thread underneath this little guide here, and then bring the needle threader all the way down. Roll the head to the eye of the needle, holding it there, then you're gonna bring the thread up to that little hook. So it's an up to type feature. Now I'm not pushing the thread back, all I'm doing is lifting it slightly. As I twist the needle threader away from my needle, I'm also going to let go of this thread. So if I keep holding this for dear life, it's not gonna let it come through. You'll notice there's a little loop of thread sticking out the back of the needle, which you can pull through and then start to sew. Let's do that again. So find your needle threader, pull it down partial, partially, come underneath it, and do these in all separate steps, not just because I'm talking through them, but one, two, then put the thread in it, three, and then gently twist that thread while you let go, or twist the needle threader away from the needle while you let go so a little loop can come out the back side. Really easy to work with once you get the kind of rhythm of how it works.